Hey everybody, Tom Bullington here with In Motion Realty. It's Thursday, March 10th, 2022. Hope all of you are doing great and looking forward to the weekend. Um, wanted to touch on something today that's really important that comes up a lot, especially with buyer clients, is getting a loan approval letter prior to looking for a home. And the reason why is with the market being so tight right now, um, if you don't have a loan approval letter before you are looking for a house, so let's say you go out and uh, we're looking for a house and you fall in love with a house. You say, okay, this is the perfect house for us. It's got the right number of bedrooms, bathrooms, great backyard. The kids are going to love this, etc. cetera. Um, not having a loan approval letter is going to put you at a distinct disadvantage. Um, first of all, you wouldn't be able to make an offer if you don't have one. Um, so if you are in the situation where you need to make an offer quickly, you're going to have to haul some butt and get that, get that loan approval letter done right away. Um, whether or not a lender can just drop everything and do that for you, they need to run a credit check. They need to run an employment check. All these things go into getting a loan approval letter for you. So making sure that proactively before you go out and look for a home uh, with, with me or another agent, making sure you have that loan approval letter in hand prior to going out and looking for a home is really critical. It's as important as the offer itself. I can't emphasize that enough. So along those lines, the lender, like I mentioned, will do the credit check, will do an employment check. Uh, what I'd like to recommend from the lender is rather than getting a letter that specifically deals with that address that you're making an offer on, I like to see lenders do something where uh, it says, okay, Bob and Susie Smith are qualified for X, which is like the top of the range. And then um, at whatever financing they do, so whether that's FHA or conventional or whatever it might be. So making sure that there's kind of that max so that you can use the lender approval letter uh, for multiple offers that you may or may not be making. If you can just have one offer, then great, wonderful. Um, more than likely, if you're going to be making an offer, it's probably not going to be the only offer that you're going to make during the time that you're looking for a home. This is especially important if you're a first time home buyer and you're not exactly sure what you can afford. Maybe you have some sort of um, issue in your credit history that you need to work on prior to even uh, being able to get a loan. Um, so, or, or, or something, something else that might come up that your lender would know about that you don't even know about. Maybe you have some sort of uh, unknown discrepancy on your credit report that you didn't even know about, or the credit agency thinks that you haven't paid something off and you actually have. Those types of things have to get worked out prior to getting a loan approval. So making sure that proactively you have all your ducks in a row before you go out and look for a house so that as an agent, I know that you are solid, you're pre-approved, and if we have to make an offer, I can make an offer quickly and make sure I know exactly what you can afford and only show you homes that you can afford. So it's really a win-win situation. I can put you in touch with some great lenders if you need that. If you don't need that, if you have a lender in mind, go for it. I think that's wonderful. So um, I do have a few that I can recommend to you if you need that. Okay, so today's weather, Thursday, March 10th. It's going to get up to 29 degrees for a high. It's not going to feel like that. The winds are from the west at 10. In other words, there's an 11 degree wind chill right now. Uh, kind of mid-morning on Thursday. Down to 3 overnight, 23 on Friday, progressively warming up over the weekend. 30s, 40s, next Wednesday, predicted high, 57 degrees. So we're getting there. Daylight savings starts on Sunday, longer days, warmer temps. Spring is in 11 days. So hang in there. If you like warmer weather, we're going to deliver for you. Um, if you like the winter, it's Minnesota. We'll probably get some more snow. It's going to be a little bit chilly for the rest of the month into April. So it's a win-win. 
Um, sun is setting tonight at 611. Sun is rising tomorrow at 631 for Friday. And uh, I hope all of you have a great uh, rest of the day and a great weekend coming up. Again, Tom Bullington in Motion Realty, 651-402-6356. On the web, TomBullingtonHomes.com. Have a great day. Bye.